Welcome back to A Vapor's Journey. I'm Jason Hughes here at Xavier Penguin Studios, now powered by Move to Vapor. In the last few videos, I've been doing juice reviews, which is a completely new experience to me. I'm looking forward to your comments so I can do better reviews in the future and really bring you the information that you want to know about the stuff that I'm playing with here. But I wanted to touch base. We all know I've kind of been on a custard kick lately. So I wanted to talk to you about a juice that I discovered in another local shop that has just absolutely wowed me, floored me. Uh, Jolly Rogers Vape Sauce, Captain's Custard. This is the vanilla custard to end all vanilla custards. I've tried some house blends that were okay. Uh, I had done the lizard nipples, which was great, but, uh, you know, I really felt like there could be more there. Uh, Captain's Custard just does it. Uh, right now, I'm rocking the 6 milligram, mostly because I've had trouble keeping into the zero, and the 6 mil is absolutely great. I mean, this is a very thick dripping juice. It's got phenomenal flavor profile. There is absolutely vanilla. There is absolutely custard. It lingers a little bit when it hits your mouth, when it hits your tongue, when it hits your nostrils and your sinuses and air, all your pores and your hairs. It is all up in you. Uh, nothing but custard. And initially, this was the custard that uh, really made me desire to go out and play with other custards. Uh, this is a very high pri uh, price point juice, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of the house juices are in that $12 to $18 bracket. Uh, I'm finding this online and locally for $22 a bottle, for a 30 mil bottle. It's steep. It's worth it. Let me go ahead and vape this for you. Just did a recent rebuild on this. Just vaped it a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and load her up a touch. Let's go to work. I think I've got my ring down. I do. Ah, be smarter than the vape. Rule one. That's heavenly. One of the things that really impressed me was the flavor delivery. Uh, no matter what device I put it in, I, I get that really good, heavy, custard flavor that just jumps out at you it almost feels like um uh, i almost hate to use this analogy but this is what it brings to, to mind for me a uh, slightly melty milkshake like the old school mcdonald's milkshakes that you know they were a little frothy when you know they started to melt down uh, just vanilla custard on your tongue all day uh, i've been rocking it in the rio pretty heavy and uh, even for a smaller atomizer with smaller wick. I mean, once again, just killer cloud delivery, killer flavor delivery. Um, I did make the mistake just for grins, and I should have gotten this out for y'all earlier. I went ahead and put it in a regular cardomizer just to see what would happen. This is definitely not the stuff that you want to stick in a regular cardo. Uh, there, there's just not enough. There's just not enough coil contact to really cloud it up and make it worth your time. As a matter of fact, I found that thicker juices in uh, some of the some of the uh, you know top feed tanks or in your standard Cardo, that, that's just bad news. You're going to burn it up. You're going to go through the cart real fast. Not recommended for that. This is definitely vape ready vape juice. Um, tried sticking it in my. Uh, uh, in my uh, K-Fun clone was, once again, not a great experience. It just didn't wick well enough in that sort of scenario that I felt it was a, a good way to go. Uh, but I cannot put this stuff down. This is this is absolutely my favorite dessert vape. I'm hitting this every day. Um, good, thick clouds, great flavor. This is This is the 9 out of 10 for me. This is nearly the dream vape. Man, that's good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was vaping this recently, uh, probably somewhere I shouldn't have, and somebody walked by and goes, why does it smell like cake or, or cookies? I, I, I just, I can't figure that out. 
Uh, so very good stuff. Look it up. Uh, Jolly Rogers has other flavors that I'm going to be exploring here soon. And if Captain's Custard is any indicator, I'm looking forward to what else they have in the stable. Um, everybody that I've talked to has been really, you know, really up on these guys. So uh, not exactly sure where they're located. Not exactly sure, you know, the, the, the make or manufacturer. But uh, as far as flavor, this, is, this has been absolutely insane. I did want to take a minute and actually backtrack a touch, because one of the things that I've been focusing on in the last few videos is dripper juice. Okay, not everybody is ready for dripper. What are they ready for? They're ready for the house juice. They're ready for the, you know, 80-20 blend or the 60-40 blend PGVG stuff. So I actually wanted to go ahead and give props to my home shop, Move to Vapor. Move to Vapor is where I got started. It's the juice I still vape daily. And I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about my daily vape, which is Move to Vapor Peach. Uh, right now I'm vaping at a uh, 4 milligram nicotine. Move to Vapor goes on scales from 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and then the big jump to 36. Not everybody goes that high. Uh, and I went ahead and I threw it in a Genesis style tank. And the reason for that is, is that anybody will tell you, Genesis tanks, which are metal uh, mesh wicking uh, with the coil around the metal mesh, are just huge for flavor delivery, not so huge for clouds. So, perfect fit. Something that's going to go through those metal tubes and, uh, you know, wick well for me and, you know, keep those, keep that uh, mesh wet. That's, that, that's absolutely what I'm looking for there. So, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and vape this for a minute, because as much as I like the Captain, something a little lighter for the moment would be great. And check that out. Not the worst cloud delivery in the Genesis-style tank. Uh, not the worst cloud delivery in, you know, your Kangers or your uh, Aspires or your Vivinovas. I mean, this is perfect tank juice. This is great daily vape juice. This is something that you don't have to sit there and futz with and keep dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping. Uh, absolutely perfect in a K-Fun. Something that's, you know, going to have a good ability to wick. And that's one of the things that I've enjoyed about Move to Vapor Juice is uh, we don't have the fancy names, per se, but you know what you're going to get with your juice. Grape? Tastes like grape. Peach? This is, you know, it's everything but the fuzz and the peach bit. Uh, you know, our tobacco flavors are, are well known in the St. Louis area. You know, the Harry's Blend and then the Harry's Light, Full, uh, the, the uh, Mild and Mediums. So that's, that, that's definitely something that has been come, come to be known because it's what a lot of people start with. We've got great tobacco reproduction. I've been able to move away from that and kind of go exclusively to the cafe flavors. But you always know what you're going to get. And very few people have ever to come up to me and said, you know what, that uh, root beer tastes like used tires. No, it tastes like root beer. So whatever you're expecting is what you're going to get. And that's something that we pride ourselves on. Um, I like the fact that uh, a lot of the shops that are doing house blends, move to vapor, not being, you know, not being outside of that arena, we're using USDA, USP, food, and medical grade components. So everything about the juice, you know where it's coming from. Uh, a lot of shops are doing their own labs. Mood Vapor has their own lab. Dedicated chemist makes all the juice. And I can personally vouch, because it's what I started with, it's what I still vape. You can't touch some of the premium brands and hold a house blend next to that unless it's good stuff. And I'm completely confident, I'm 100% serious when I say this, I will always trust a moved vapor juice to be exactly what it says, to vape like a boss, and honestly, it's you know half the cost of some of the other stuff out there. You're looking at 12, uh, 12 bucks for a 30 mil bottle. You can't beat that. That's right down the middle. You know, it's kind of in the actually kind of in the lower spectrum for you know house blends. Some guys are charging you know almost twice that, you know one and a half times that for their house juice. And, okay, sure. You like it, you think it's worth it, you know what goes into it, vape on. Speaking of. Mm. 
So somebody's eventually going to bring up the point, well, is this a shameless plug for the store that you work with? No. Yes, these videos are effectively sponsored by Move to Vapor. I wouldn't put their name on association with mine if I didn't believe in it. And I do completely believe in Move to Vapor. I like the juice. I like the chemists. I like the people. I like working there. I've seen how, you know, the new folks coming in, how we're able to positively affect their lives. And just that attitude alone would draw me towards them. <clears throat> Pardon me. How does a house juice stack up to a premium juice? Depends on what you're looking for. I found that a lot of the components in a um, premium juice are going to be, you know, more complex, more flavors, you know, different PG, different, you know, VG blends. <clears throat> Usually you're going to find the premium juices to be, you know, more designed for, you know, thicker usage. So uh, things such as like the drippers and the cloud chasers are really going to be drawn to those heavy VG premium lines. And uh, I'll tell you right now, I have dripped and do drip the move to vapor juice without so much as batting an eyelash uh not the bottle it comes in but i dropped it in glass because i like glass this is more move to vapor peach and we're gonna do that once again not the hugest cloud in the world great flavor so do I feel like there's a conflict of interest here? No, I'm dealing with two different things. Yes, it's all vape. Cloud chasing over here, daily vape over here. And I can't for the life of me say that you're going wrong either direction. So, overall thoughts. Move to vapor juice. Definitely going to get an uh, 8 to an 8.5, depending on the juice, uh, you know, the different flavors for flavor. A uh, little, quite a bit less. We're looking at a 6.57 per cloud if you're dripping. Uh, premium juice, Jolly Rogers, absolutely a 9 for flavor. Uh, 9.5 even for cloud production. This is just super thick stuff. Clouds really well. And those are my thoughts. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't. It's for you to decide because it's your journey. This is Jason. Have a good one.